Hi everyone and welcome back to the Biotics Care YouTube channel. My name is Sky, and today we're going to be talking about what to expect when you start taking a probiotic supplement. So when consuming probiotics, especially a multi-strain high CFU count probiotic, we are adding billions of new probiotic bacteria to the gut which will then alter the state of our gut microbiome. And though introducing these new beneficial probiotic bacteria can significantly improve our gut health and our overall health, what exactly does this mean? And what should we expect? So first things first, you should definitely expect less digestive issues. And these include gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, stomach pains, acid reflux, and others. And this is because as the new probiotic bacteria is being introduced to the system, it is helping to rebalance your gut microbiome by killing off any potential overgrowth of harmful bacteria. And without the presence of these beneficial bacteria, people can experience many digestive issues like I listed above, as their gut may not have the proper resources to digest food efficiently as well as protect the body from toxins. So as the microbiome finds its new equilibrium thanks to the probiotic bacteria, people can definitely expect to experience less digestive issues. However, some people can experience an increase in digestive issues when they start a probiotic and though that sounds counterproductive, it is completely normal. So let's dive into why. So we talk a lot about a balanced and healthy gut microbiome as well as the opposite which is known as gut dysbiosis but these two states are going to look different to everybody for example two healthy people will have completely different gut microbiomes as well as two unhealthy people therefore these two terms are often generalized making people feel like they sit in either one or the other but there is absolutely no way to generalize people when it comes to gut health as it is going to be different for every single person even identical twins will have different gut microbiomes. So all this to say, depending on the microbes that you have present in your gut, as well as the ones that you are lacking, will greatly determine how your body reacts to a dose of probiotic supplements. A common reason why people experience discomfort when starting a new probiotic supplement is because their guts are in a major drought of helpful bacteria, meaning more room for the harmful ones to come in and take over. Thus, when a probiotic bacteria enters your system and make their way down to your large intestine where they like to settle down, they need to essentially fight for their spot. And this includes killing off a lot of the harmful bacteria. And even though this is beneficial to us, it can cause disruption in the gut and may take time for your gut flora to readjust itself. This discomfort may present itself in the form of stomach pains, gas, changes in bowel movement, etc., but should only last a few weeks until your gut finds its new balance, which at that point you can start to reap the benefits of this beneficial bacteria and with consistency you will start to see long-term improvements in your gut health however in the case that this discomfort lasts longer than three weeks it would be a good idea to get your gut checked as there may be an underlying issue at hand that needs more attention but other than better digestion what can we expect so another main thing that the probiotic bacteria will come in and do is repair your gut lining and this can be beneficial to us in so many ways and depending on the current state of your overall health, you can expect to notice numerous positive effects as these probiotic bacteria come in and repair and strengthen your gut lining. So to someone dealing with a weak gut lining or even severe leaky gut, they may experience symptoms such as chronic diarrhea, constipation or bloating, nutritional deficiencies, fatigue, headaches, confusion, difficulty concentrating, skin issues, joint pain, inflammation, autoimmune diseases, anxiety, depression, Therefore, as these beneficial little gut bugs come in and start to repair the gut lining, people can start noticing an increase in energy, better sleep, stronger immune system, and so much more. So we commonly make the mistake of viewing our gut health as one system, which is completely unrelated to the rest of our body, but this is so far from the truth. Our gut is responsible for so much more than just digestion. It controls a large part of our immune system, regulates our hormones, and is constantly speaking back and forth to our brain through our nervous system. Meaning if your gut is struggling, you are going to be experiencing way more than just digestive issues. So of course, most people expect a change in digestion and a decrease in digestive issues, which is true and one of its main purposes. However, as your gut microbiome becomes more diverse and your gut lining now has the resources to properly repair itself, you can expect to see changes in everything we 
talked about today and so much more. Again, it is individual to every person. Everyone has a different gut microbiome and everyone will benefit a little bit differently from taking a daily probiotic supplement. However, regardless, there are many things to look forward to when starting a new high quality probiotic supplement, which again, if you are looking for a new probiotic supplement, I highly recommend our flora. I will have it linked down below as always, as well as the rest of our products, socials, and newsletter if you would like to sign up and get weekly gut health tips. You also get a free ebook when signing up. Anyways, that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below anything you would like us to talk about next, and I will see you next week in another video.